Monday's INEX and a poll that has net zero influence, Paul. Yeah, nearly half of Tory MPs think achieving net zero is not necessary to stop climate change poll fires. I think this can be... Um, this, this, is, this is seen, sorry, across the whole demographic of the UK. I think two... I think I'd go as far as saying two-thirds of people believe that net zero by 2030 is not achievable and because it's ridiculous and they don't believe that this is... Oh, but... Okay. No, well, the it's story... 2050, though, is... This, OK, net zero, this is 2050, is it? Oh, sorry. Yeah. So, anyway, my, my point stands is that it's, it's an impossible target still. I think even at 2050. I'll tell you for why. Because we still don't have a plan in place to achieve it right now. They'll say that there's a plan, right, we're going to go to reuni reusables, mm. but we don't... Where, where are they? We haven't, we haven't got a substantial tested system that allows us to move to. So until we do, we've got to have a smorgasbord on the, uh, available to us of, of, of wind on one side and green on one side, and then coal and nuclear and fracking, if it has to be, on the other side, so that we can, so that we can remain sustainable. One thing I would say is I don't think that the Tory MPs here are out of touch at all. And I think what's happened is not only do people have, have, have struggled to grasp it and they're not completely tuned into the whole climate um, catastrophe as we're sold, but think, things like Just Up Oil that we were just talking mm. about are also helping people just to become ambivalent about it. They don't care anymore. Mm. I don't think people care about uh, because all they're seeing is a nuisance and zealots overreacting. OK, I think there is truth to that, but, Victor, would you agree that it's not necessarily a, about questioning the science behind climate change or that it's happening? I think most people agree with that, but what never seems to have been consulted to the general public is this idea of net zero, but more specifically, how these policies... what these policies are, how they're going to be achieved. That seems to be something that's just kind of, like the experts or whoever it is, well, like I say the experts like it's bad, you know, yeah, that's great, they're experts, but there hasn't been consultation well, or with the public, right? Well, just, just, I'm with the Tory MPs. <laughs> I don't know what they're talking about. But what I do <laughs> understand is that they're using this as a way of just making money off the UK public with parking and all, all the things that, they just, this is just designed to make money. They don't care if, it, if it's going to reach a particular target at... 2050. I think it's a That's good. My take. I think it's a really good point. I think the way that will be proven or not proven is when, like with ULES, let's say they reach a target of 100 percent of cars meeting the ULES criteria. You can't tell me that at that point they're just going to stop charging people to enter into London. They'll just carry on the charge yeah. and, and find another reason why. Now, I might be being very cynical about that, but that's where, that, that's where the evidence is going to be in terms of is this just a tax and fine situation or, or do they genuinely care? I guess we're going to find out. Right.